to my channel today I'm gonna show you this makeup look which is my favorite right now in this makeup look I used a lot of contrast between the neutral eyeshadows with a little bit of color in my lips so actually I prefer the glow in my skin and the matte shadows in my eyes this video I'm gonna do the contour makeup look and in the next one I'm gonna do the eyes so that's it my lovies I hope you like this tutorial thank you so much for watching give a thumbs up if you like it and let's begin. If you want to see how I got the look, please keep watching. I'm gonna start applying my foundation. This is the Forever by Dior. And to apply my foundation, I'm gonna use this Kabuki brush by Zoeva. I already applied my sun cream and the primer. I used the Photo Finish by Smashbox. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of foundation to cover any imperfection of my face. And also, it will help to blend the contour. And the rest left in my brush, I'm gonna spray it in my neck and in my chest a little bit just to make everything look the same color. Now, using the Beauty Blender by Motivus Cosmetics and the concealer by NARS. This is the Radiance Concealer. I'm using the color Vanilla. I just hide my dark circles and the Beauty Blender will give me a natural finish and remove all the excess of product. I like to use my Beauty Blender wet every time because it makes the Beauty Blender super soft. You don't need to use exactly the Beauty Blender. You can use any makeup sponge with this form. It will work super fine. So I'm gonna blend this concealer around my eyes and in my eyelid a little bit. And now I'm gonna use this Sculpt Series by Motivus Cosmetics. I love so much this stuff, it blends really easily. So with a concealer brush, I'm gonna apply the lighter shade where I want to highlight. And a few shades darker than my skin where I want to contour. The highlighter will bring forward and the contour will create depth. So the lighter shade for highlight is for make those areas bigger and the darker is for make it smaller. If you play with the lighter and the darker shades in your face, it will give you a lot of dimension and contrast. Using this technique, you can change all the shape of your face. Personality, I love this technique when the product is not so heavy and blend easily because it will give a more soft and natural finish making all the makeup more beautiful. I already tried a lot of products before, this one by Motivis gave me the best results. Now with a concealer brush, using this darker shade, I'm gonna just apply it in the areas that I want to create more depth and shadow, it will make those areas look smaller. So doing this dark face, I can see exactly where I want to apply it. All the shadows will make your face appear more lifted and bronzed.
As my blush to give a little bit of glow in my skin, I'm gonna apply this shimmer cream by Sigma. It's a beautiful pinkish golden blush. And this is it, this beautiful thing, so crazy. Okay, let's blend it and after all will be super beautiful. Ah, those things of makeup lover nobody will never understand. To be beautiful first, we have to be strange. So again, using this beauty blender, I'm gonna just blend everything slowly, a little at a time, take your time for blend. So here you can see the difference of half blended and half not blended. It's not heavy, don't have a lot of product as it seems. And now let's blend the rest. So now I'm gonna use the translucent powder by NYX using a super fluffy blush brush to apply all over my face, neck and chest.
and this is the final result in the contour you can still bronze a little more if you want as i'm doing here this is the optional part i'm using this light to medium bronzer by Too Faced using this new brush by sigma i love this brush so much it's contour in the right place making all the contours super soft this brush is also awesome to apply the highlighter you don't look with a super heavy contour or highlighter or even with a harsh line is in your face. So that's it my lovies, I hope you liked this tutorial, thank you so much for watching, this is my contour update video, give a thumbs up if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more pictures of my work, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me, stay tuned in the next video that I will be uploading this eye makeup look for you, and I see you in the next time!